In a world where nuclear war has begun, vampires fought back in super real 3D. Hey guys, super easy, very quick tip today, but absolutely awesome if you don't know. Uh, don't upload your videos in HD even if you shot them in HD. You're gonna to wanna to export all your videos in 4K if you're planning to upload them to any streaming platform online. And the reason for that is not really that it, it's not gonna look better on your computer necessarily when you play the file back because it's not actually like adding more resolution to your video. But what it is gonna do is if you upload a 4K file to YouTube for instance, people watch that in 4K when they click the 4K mode, it's gonna allow for a larger bandwidth, a larger uh, bit rate per second for that video to stream at. So it like opens the floodgates on the data rate and then they can be watching a higher quality version of the video. It's gonna look a lot closer to how it looks when you watch it back on your actual, watch the actual file back on your computer. When I export it as a 4K file and then upload it uh, to YouTube and watch those side by side, I can definitely tell the edges are sharper, there's more depth, there's a little bit, uh, there's less macro blocking happening. Uh, there's a additional layer of compression that it just, you can feel in the HD version that makes everything look a little bit softer and muddier. Even though I, it's the same file, just exporting it as a 4K file, uploading that to YouTube, and then watching it in 4K, even though it's HD, it will look better. So you wanna do this for all your videos. If you're filming in HD, just plan to be exporting and uploading in 4K. It is super easy. It doesn't really matter what program you're using. It's gonna be the similar step process. So basically you wanna export it as a 3840 by 2160 size video. Okay, that's gonna be UHD. That's considered 4K. Actual true 4K is 4096 by 2160. That's a little bit wider. That's that cinema feel of the more panoramic feel. Uh, but anyway, you're going to be doing it at 3840 by 2160. All you're going to do is, in my case, Premiere. I'm going to open it up. I've got a clip in here already. This is a full short film that I made a few years ago that I, it's one of my favorite things I've ever made. Um, I'm going to re-upload this thing as 4K because in HD, it still looked fine on my TV, it looked fine on my computer, but whenever I would watch it on YouTube, ever since I uploaded it, I always felt like it was like, man, it just doesn't look as good. If you're trying it on 4K, it looks a lot closer to what I see when I'm watching the native file playback on my computer. So I'm very excited, and I'm gonna go ahead and re-upload this guy, because I, I think it's an awesome video. Um, so I'm gonna just do a new sequence from clip. It's automatically gonna put it down here into my timeline. Whatever process you need to get this video into a timeline. Then you're gonna export it. And Premiere, Control M is a shortcut command. Otherwise, you can go to File and Export, that's fine. And over here, what we're gonna do is, we can just go to, just to give us a jump start, we could just do um, a preset down here for like YouTube 4K. That's already gonna give us the right size. But if you don't have a preset, 3840 by 2160, that's your size, all right? I don't check this box anymore. I used to, I did a video on this. It it can shift your colors around. It's uh, If you wanna watch the video, I'll put the little icon up and you can check that out. It's actually one of my more popular videos because a lot of people have that issue, so it's, it's definitely not unheard of. But I do use this, I use, use maximum render quality. And the other thing that I'm gonna change here is only one other thing. I'm gonna go ahead and instead of making this a variable bit rate, the VBR, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a CBR, which is constant bit rate. There's gonna be no flex up and down in the bit rate that it's doing. Go to CBR, it's gonna export a little bit faster. It also guarantees that it's gonna go at the quality that you want it. Why not just choose the maximum quality? For me, 50 megabits per second is what I prefer. The default in um, Adobe Premiere is 40, but I've, I don't know, it's, maybe it's in my head, but I feel like it looks a little bit better when I go ahead and do it at a 50 megabit per second. Also, reason I do it in 50 is that whenever you go to play 4K files on TVs from flash drives, um, 50 for a lot of TVs is the cap. So it's kind of like a safe area to go to uh, that'll still play on a lot of TVs. If you go past that, which I have done, some TVs can, some TVs can't, but if you hit it right at 50, that's usually the cap. Now 50 megabits per second is also kind of considered the broadcast spec. It was a big step when you could film on cameras at 50 megabits per second, because then it's broadcast ready. And, and that when that came to the consumer level cameras, that was a really big deal. So I just go 50 and that is it. I mean, name it what you want. I'll just, you know, moments pondering purposelessness. It's always a hard title to say. It's, <laughs> it's really just about taking a moment, standing still and acknowledging what the hell is happening to you at the moment rather than constantly being on go. Just take a step back, 
and experience your life for a second, smell the roses. So sometimes it's okay to not have a purpose, if just for a moment. Uh, anyway, the video is much better than what I just said, but uh, we're gonna go with that title, but I'm gonna just put 4K at the end of it. And then I'm gonna hit save and export that bad boy. And then I'll be uploading that to YouTube. I would show you side-by-side <clears throat> -side comparisons, but that is pointless because this video is 4K and you're just gonna be seeing it in 4K. It, you can't really show an actual side-by-side, -side, but trust me, it's better, all right? I hope that helped you guys. If you wanna stay up to date with other videos, I put out all kinds of information on camera tech, on editing tricks, on actually going with me out on productions, music videos, documentaries, commercial branding, all kinds of stuff. So if you wanna keep up with that, by all means, be fantastic to hit the subscribe button uh, or just give me a like, that's cool too. And either way, I really hope that this helped you out and hopefully your videos, you immediately see the difference once you've uploaded in 4K. I'll catch you guys on the next one, hopefully. Take care, guys. Bye.